Hey there everyone, my name is Jay Tempest and I'd like to welcome you to my Let's Play of Terraria, the 1.1 update. Now I had originally started Terraria, but I stopped it because, well, as, fun, as much fun as I have with Terraria, <clears throat> you weren't going to see anything out of me that you hadn't already seen. And there just wasn't anything fresh or new about it, you know, anything like that. There just wasn't anything, you know... I don't want to say fun because everything about this game is fun to me anyway. It wasn't anything just new or anything like that. So I, I, I kind of scratched the idea. I used it in my update video and I made that one first video that got a little messed up uh, sound wise. But then the 1.1 update came out and I was like, hmm. So I looked up the uh, I looked up the wiki. I looked at a few things and it seems like there are a lot of new things enough to make this fresh enough for me to try a let's play. I mean, up to a certain point it's almost going to be like playing this blind again, which is just amazing. I played a little bit to make sure my computer would be able to handle the like new lighting system and everything. But beyond that, I haven't done much with this new 1.1 update and <clears throat> Everything I've read about it, or the, the little bit I read about it, I should say, because I haven't read too much. I don't want to make too many spoilers for myself, but uh, it looks like a lot of fun. So, I decided to start this new adventure and share it with you. It's the best I can say. And already, we have a slime trying to ruin that for us. Get out of here, slime. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just going to collect a few more pieces of wood here. We have 119 already, so that shouldn't be too bad. And my basic goal here is, I'm, I'm aware that there's a new boss. My goal for all of this is to defeat Skeletron, get into the dungeon, after which I want to make it to hell, defeat this new boss called the, uh, the Flesh Wall, I believe it's called. Or the Wall of Flesh, rather. I want to defeat the Wall of Flesh, and apparently that makes the world harder and actually increases the strength of all the bosses. After I do that, I want to fight the uh, Skeletron in his ultimate form, I guess you could say. He's called Skeletron Prime, and I, 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 uh, that's basically where I'd call it end game for me. I, I want to see if I can get all that done. <clears throat> so, that's basically what I'm going to do. And as usual, we're going to start off with building a house, because we're pretty much going to be up the creek without a paddle if it goes nighttime and we're left out here to deal with the baddies. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this unnecessarily pretty, like, building, I guess. I wouldn't even call it pretty or all that much. It's not that special. It's just a different shape than normal people usually go with, I've noticed. So we'll go with that. I mean, it's better than just a rectangle on the wheel, the mouse wheel on my... There we go. The mouse wheel on my mouse is acting up, so I'm actually going to try and use this new... Wait, what? Try and new use this new auto system. Ah, I like that. See, if you hold shift, or you can set it to whatever you want, and depending on where you put your your cursor, it will automatically shift to something in your inventory. Like if it were all the way out here, it would shift to my uh, to my torches. But say right here, it shifts to my axe because I can because it's a uh, use for my axe basically. And if I let go, it'll go right back to my original item. And down here, it's the pickaxe, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so I actually like that. That uh, it doesn't do it with the hammer. I think though, I'm not sure. So it all depends. But I like that that little function. This auto function. Let's go up here, grab some more dirt blocks, place these back. So I don't like how this looks. Oh, I'm out of dirt blocks. Oh, let's fix that. The only thing is I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that I can do that with the uh, pickaxe and whatnot now. It's uh <clears throat> something I'm not used to being able to do. There we go. Switch back to my weapon. Here we are. What's that say? Annoying copper sword. <laughs> Annoying copper pickaxe. Copper axe. Very interesting. 
I hadn't noticed that little change. That's one of them. One of those small changes you really don't don't notice until you're actually looking for it. There we go. Two dirt blocks should work. <clears throat> so yeah, my basic goal is to defeat the last form of Skeletron, and then I'd be happy. Uh, do, how did you get in here? Get away. I know what you guys do here in this world. Oh, there is. I don't want to do it, though. My luck, they'll get angry at me. Fine, you're in my way. You can now do this. What? Which you couldn't do in the old version. You can take that as you want. I know what those things do during the Blood Moon, though. Oh god, they're not happy, they're not happy, they're not happy, they're not happy. Okay. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's get down to business. And go ahead and we'll make our first workbench. I'll make three of these. <clears throat> go ahead and grab the workbench, place it here. I'd like to place these here. Now that's something I don't understand. Why do these turn... Ah, it's because... <clears throat> Never mind, I understand it now. It's because I'm, I'm looking at them. What is that sound? You know what? What happened to my guide? That's a good question. I don't know. It sounds like he's getting attacked, though. Oh, that's him getting attacked. Oh, guide. There. You need a weapon of some sort. Anyhow, let's gather up some of this copper real fast. I know I should be making a door for my house, but I keep getting sidetracked. Try and die, bird, die! Oh, got away. <clears throat> All right, let's stop messing around. The sun is actually going down. I just realized that. Grab those copper ores and bring it back to the house. And I will go ahead and make myself a door. Because <clears throat> that's kind of important. And we'll go ahead and place that down. And there we go. We are now safe for the night. <clears throat> so now what I need is... No, I don't need the wooden table right now. What I need is this. There we go. There is one other thing I'm aware of with this update, and that is this little nifty thing here. You can actually choose where your NPCs are going to live now, uh, which I actually really like. It always bothered me when an NPC would, uh, would take over the space you decided to make your house. I don't know why. I just don't like them being there. They get in the way, and it's, it's stupid. I don't like it my opinion that's all it really is but uh, I really like this this system that you can actually choose where they live now it's not just this random thing where it may or may not happen and it's actually uh, when I play uh, online with a few of my friends we do a uh, PvP competition where it's almost like a strategy uh, real-time strategy game we have to build up our bases before and you know build up our defenses before we actually go to fight each other and attack each other uh, and we can actually attack each other in the middle of building processes as well. The problem with that is, our uh, problem with that was, even if, let's say, I collected all of the necessary items to collect the gunner as my uh, as my NPC rather than, let's say, my uh, my enemy's NPC, sometimes my gunner would end up in one of their houses, and it and it became bothersome because that was my gunner. I gathered the resources needed for him. Now with this new uh, choosing system, I guess you could call it, I could actually make sure my gunner ends up in my area, so that's that's one good use for it. Uh, and another good use is just aesthetics too. You can choose and pick where you want these characters to end up. If you build a merchant shop, you want the merchant to live there. If you build a blacksmithery, you want the uh, the demolition guy, I guess, or not the demolition guy. Um, you know, the gunsmith, maybe, I guess. 
or the arms dealer rather. The point is you can you can pick and choose now, and I really like that that added uh, piece of uh, freedom, I guess you could say. But enough of my ranting. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this wooden sword, shoddy wooden sword. Minus twenty percent damage, minus fifteen percent speed. Wait, what's? Oh, that's right. I did read about being able to actually increase uh, the stats of your weaponry now too, so I could make this shoddy wooden sword into like a fine wooden sword. I guess I'm not sure. I'm also not sure how that works either. Like, if I make another wooden sword, would it be different? Yeah, I like that wooden sword. Shoddy wooden sword ones. I like that. Can I make another one? Just a wooden sword now. All right. That's. I like that. Not bad. I'm not gonna use the shoddy wooden sword though. Use the normal wooden sword. I don't know if you can make anything better than the normal wooden sword or whatever. <clears throat> but uh. Bird. Die, bird. Oh. I don't know if you can actually catch them or not. Oh, I need to make uh, torches as well. I almost forgot about that. <clears throat> there we go. And I really like the new lighting system. It's just like so smooth. The only problem I have with it is that it, you can mistake certain ores for other ores because of the way the lighting shines. Which is annoying at times, but at the same time it's not that bad. It gives you reason to... Uh, to go into other areas too instead of digging straight down you notice something that looks like iron sure it might end up not being iron but you know maybe you find something else in that area because you thought the one ore was iron made you go in that direction and you find silver you know <clears throat> so it's not that horrible so we're already in the combat here let's see what I got nothing I did get a lens, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good. Why do all these rabbits keep spawning near me? Get away from me, because I do not want to deal with you if the blood moon rises. You guys are not very fun. Alright, that's enough meandering around in the dark. Let me put up my torches now. <clears throat> Alright, put you here, and I'll put you there. And there goes my guide, getting his ass kicked. What are you doing, guide? I've noticed NPCs get names now, too. What's your name? Maxwell? It's an interesting name. Can I change it? I don't like that name, Maxwell. I have nothing against it, just not my cup of tea. <clears throat> Back off, guide. Clearly, you're not doing well. You're stuck in that hole, that's what you are. Uh, you're probably better off there. I know you'll end up teleporting. Eventually, anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this so you don't keep getting attacked. Great. Get away from me, zombie! Die! Ow! Stupid zombie. Alright. So if I keep this, I keep forgetting that I can do this right here. This, uh, auto-select. Like I said, that's the only thing I'm going to have to get used to, is actually being able to do that. It's very helpful. Anyway, go like that, go like that. Dirt blocks, there we go. You are now safe down there until you decide to teleport home. Which you don't have yet, so... <clears throat> should probably start making it. I need more wood though, that's the only problem. I need more wood. Wood, 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 woody wood. Come on. Ah, that took longer than usual. I felt like it anyway. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do this just for aesthetic purposes and functional purposes so I can actually get up there. There we go. There we go. I'll probably turn that area into like glass as a window, I guess. No, get away from my house. You all just come out of nowhere and you just stand there. Get out of here. Oh, leave me alone. I 
Actually, I think I'll make this like a little staircase too. Since there aren't actual staircases yet, unfortunately. That looks good. It's not horrible. So now that I'm here, I can actually place these walls down. I forgot I made these. Right. Just place them down real quick. I'm going to need iron because of that. Ever since 1.6, or 6.1 rather. You have to make a sawmill. You need iron for those. Uh, it's a little annoying, but I can understand the point of it. <clears throat> Just to make it a little more difficult, I suppose. I need a uh, hammer as well. almost forgot about that. Here we go. Wooden hammer. So with that, let's go ahead and... Huh, yeah. It doesn't look like the uh, shift key. Ooh, I heard a falling star. I wonder where it went. Ah, it's right there. Come here, falling star. Thank you. Or fall in star, rather. Die, eyeball, die! No. Get away from my house! Thank you. Not you too, zombie. Come on. Get away, get away, get away from my house. Cause I don't want you near it. All you do is cause me troubles. La 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 la. Don't know what other words I could add to that tune, so I'm just gonna go inside. <clears throat> add bits to the wall. There we go. Hmm. As a matter, of, actually, there's no way, reason to put the uh, to put the wood walls down that low. There we go. There we are. Go ahead and take these wooden walls and do 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 do. I don't know why I'm uh. I'm humming a Mario tune. You'd think I'd be fed up with Mario after my last Let's Play of it. But no, I'm not. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's a way to change the uh, Terraria music. I'd love to add, like, Mario music for some reason. Oh, get away! You too. I am tired of this bull crap. I'm sitting here trying to build my house and you guys won't leave me alone. Guide's still safe, so that's good. <clears throat> Scratch my elbow because it itches. And what are we at? 18 minutes? Not that bad. I'm actually making a lot more progress, I think, than I did uh, with my first Terraria plates. What the? That's not right. Stop hitting my door. Stop hitting my door. I will kill you, zombie. Alright. More of those things. Well, at least he's not near my house. He's getting close to it, though. Don't stare at me like that, bunny. Do not stare at me like that. Whoa, lag. you the lag bunny, aren't you? Get out of here. Hmm. Ow. Get out of here, zombie. You ain't funny. Alright, day's coming, so I won't have to deal with them anymore, at least. I want to try and get uh, some iron before I have to cut this video. I mean, I don't have to cut this video at any point, really, but I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch half an hour, or, well, I guess this would be kind of a half an hour since I do half an hour quote-unquote shows, but uh... I wouldn't want you guys to sit there for an hour just watching Terraria. I know that can get a little boring, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. 
I, I guess it depends on who's watching at the time, but, you know, still. Too much of a good thing or a bad thing, depends on what you think of me. Uh, too much of a good thing or a bad thing is just, you know, too much. So I'll, keep, I'll continue to keep them around 20 minutes to half an hour and just hope I can get my goals completed by those times. Simple as that, really. I kind of wish I had glass, but I don't at the moment. That's alright. It's not that big a deal. <clears throat> Let's see. I want to make these wooden walls. <clears throat> That should be good enough. It's actually more than enough, probably. Do that. I'll go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna want to add uh, some furniture in here too, so... I'm thinking I'll go ahead and make the table for alchemy and whatnot later. There we go. A little work table there. I always get two chairs for the table, I don't know why. Just do. Not something you have to do. It's not like I'd cry your house looks ugly or something because you don't have two tables. This is what I do. Put it right there. Actually, probably put this chair right here. Put the other chair like right here. I don't know, what do you think? I kind of like that. Looks nice. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and put this here for now so I can finish off these walls. There we go. And a little closer. There we go. There we go. Looks nice to me. I'll go ahead and take this down. There we go. I wish you could put torches on the walls, but you can't. It's alright. Now that that's all done, I have a space for my loom, which I'm going to have to... I can't get a loom until I've made the sawmill. Uh, I can't get anything until I've made that stupid sawmill. There is space for the sawmill, too, I suppose. Alright. It's time to go hunting for iron. Enough of this building crap. Though, to be honest, my, uh... My... I enjoy the building aspects of this, as well as uh, other games like Minecraft. Anything that has building in it, I, it's, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed, you know, creative things like that. Get back here, bird! But, um, I don't know, I could probably catch him if I had a gun or something. But yeah, I like building, so. But I know some people don't. So it's best not to bore them with it. Why is it following me? Get away from me, bunny. Get away from me! Alright. There we go. That should be good enough to get back up. Let's go ahead and go like this. Place that right there. Kill you. Stupid slime. Alright, you're down for the count. Go ahead and do this. There we go. Put you here. Huh. It's a nice little cave system we got going on here. Ooh, copper. Or, yeah, copper. Oh, silver! I just noticed that. Huh. Well, if it isn't my lucky day. Really early silver, isn't it? And again, this cave is really wide open, so that might be why. So it's not iron, which I really need, because all of this ore is pretty much pointless without the iron. What is that? <clears throat> what is that? What does it glow? It looks like it's glowing. What? Probably just like copper with the lighting shining off of it in a strange way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look all the way to the right of the screen. 
It's like purplish ore, but now that I'm getting closer to it, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is cracking like that. Uh, as I'm getting closer to it, it almost is starting to look... Oh, look! Iron. Yay, iron. I don't know if it's enough, though. Hopefully it is. But yeah, over to the right of the screen, there's like purple ore. As I'm getting closer to it, though, it's starting to look like just normal stone. That's probably all it is. But we'll see. There we go. But I am going to go near it. Just to be 100% sure. I don't want to pass up an interesting ore if it is. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 Why is it purple over there? There's something over there, isn't there? What is that? Oh, it's a demon altar. Now I understand. Everything makes sense now. That is, however, more iron ore, which never hurts to have. I think there's more silver below me. Yep, silver. Whoa, slimes, you are getting dangerously close. Get out of here. Thank you. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Gold ore! It's not that much, but still. Gold ore. Sounds like a Pokemon. Gold ore! Get over here. What is that? Is that more gold? Yes, it is! Oh my god! Gold! I struck gold! Wow, I am actually really surprised. I was not expecting to see gold ore this, uh, this soon in the game. Like, at all. Oh, hello, giant worm. Get out of here! Come on. What, are you afraid of me now or something? Come on. Is that all gold ore? Or is that just sand? I'm no, that's gold ore. That better be gold ore. No, wait. That's just stone ore, isn't it? I can't tell anymore. It might just be the blink root making a fool out of me. There's only one way to find out, though. What time are we at? Almost 30. Alright, we're gonna have to... It's this worm that's bothering me! Come on! Frig! There we go. Get out of here, giant worm. Alright, let's see if I can't get figure this out real quick. And then get back home. Alright, so that's down and out. Are you or are you not gold ore? Ah, uh, there's a slime down there. <sighs> Alright, let's see what I can't do. Put that there. Ah, oh, yeah, that's just a bunch of stone ore, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Disappointment. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, but there's iron there. So that's... Something. I'm highly disappointed, though. I thought it was gold ore. The blink root made a fool of me. And that's exactly what I mean by easily being able to be easily fooled by the uh, new lighting system. Uh, but I'm not going to complain about it. Like I said, sure, it wasn't gold ore, but it was the iron ore that I really need, so... And had I not thought it was golden ore, then I would have never came here. That's a good way to look at it. Ah. Uh, I do wish it was golden ore, though. But we got a little bit of it. I mean, that's great. 
Alright. So that's good. I'm happy we got that. I'm not going to be upset about it. No reason to be. So we'll go ahead and make our little stairway to heaven here. Get out of the cave. And while I'm getting out, I guess I'll, uh, I'll say my usual goodbyes. My name is Jade Tempest. I really hope you guys are enjoying my videos, like usual. And I mean, I, I like usual, hope you're enjoying my videos. I'm not assuming you usually enjoy them, but you, you get the point. I'm Jade Tempest. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. I'm glad to be back uh, doing these videos for you guys. It's just something I love, and I plan on continuing it for as long as I can. So, that's that. This has been Terraria, the 1.1 update. I'll see you guys later. Bye!